National Socialism better than Black National Socialism? No, I don't think so. You're just a racist? Is that no, what it is? You don't know that. that no, 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 for thinking that he is. The government oh, no, took you, over the yeah, whorehouse, oh. the most famous whorehouse, and couldn't run dead with the profit. It went broke. I don't care what you think. I do not care what you think. Anybody want? Take it back. Sure. I'll take two because I'm having somebody else come. Thank you. Does anybody want my extra signs? Thank you. She got shut up. <laughs> I'm against a single pay health care. Because against single pay. I'm not. I'm for it. Are you? Yes, definitely. But you guys. Not. I'm not for an, an, an own only uh, government system. Oh yeah. But I'm for options. you know and options and oh. opening up the the, the health care market so that we can get a little bit better. But you're all friends. You no, haven't. No, we just met in line. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Absolutely. Look at that. Harmony in the world. They did not kill each other. I don't see how a private industry insurance can compete with a government insurance. There is no way that they can have the same rates. I think even if the initial intent isn't to single one out, I think that's exactly what you're so going to have. What you're saying is that the government will actually be more efficient and will win the competition because it will offer better services at lower cost. No, I disagree with that. I have you friends be in England than. and Canada. No, I didn't necessarily say it was going to be cheaper. But I don't see how a private industry insurance can compete with a government insurance. There is no way that they can have the same rates. As, no, I didn't necessarily say it was going to be cheaper, but I'm saying that, that private business has certain rules and regulations that they have to abide by that the government... Money, the, 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 the medical, the insurance industry made 13 billion dollars last and it did profit to health in profit. I have a neighbor I can take you right to her. She's got cancer and she's been denied all kinds of tests by her in private insurance. Yes, she has horror stories about rationing are happening now. They're being done by private companies. You, you shrug off the, girl, the woman who's been denied coverage. Does that not no, bother you? I'm not shrugging it off, but I also know people in, in the United Kingdom and Canada. Canada, but we're not that saying have, that we're making that have, the United Kingdom of Canada but I think an that's, American program, which is American, not not the United Kingdom. That's not what I read in the book. Well, no, I read that the I lowest, read what we're doing there. We are the lowest health care of any industrialized <laughs> nation in the country today. We are below Chile. We are below Colombia. The level of Costa Rica, right? Which is yes. Yes. no Costa Rica ha it's covers Costa Rica. all of their citizens. Costa yes. Rica's I'm curious. Um, the the free market, the way it works, it for the insurance companies, it's their job to charge more and more every year and provide fewer and fewer services. That's how capitalism works. Their job is not to help us, but to make a profit. Yeah. So why are you in favor of that? Who is this that's doing what? I missed that. There was such a pregnant pause, I had figured that would be significant. Well, I was waiting for an answer. What was your question? Well, it, the insurance companies, the way it works under capitalism is that every year they charge you more and more, and every year they give you fewer and fewer services right. because their job is to make a profit. And I was asking her why she's for that. I'm for a free market. Even in healthcare where it literally kills people. What I am terrified of mm -hmm. is that the current administration is taking over everything. They've taken over the banks, they've taken over the car industry, the medical, you know. <laughs> But if I see all of our yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. where would be if, where would be right if they so hadn't have done the things they've done? Do you feel that way when your yeah. big bomb was subject to being trapped? Did you feel that way when Bush took over the banks? How about when they took over Iraq? Lies. Based yeah. on lies. On lies. Does that yeah. bother you? You guys see your way. Oh, and we're I try, I'm trying to hear your your reason. 
And you know, uh, presumably those people who say they don't want government involved <laughs> drive on roads, go over bridges. Yeah. Oh, I think Send government needs to be involved in certain ways, but I think it's got well, way too big. Well, does it make sense right? to have free public education and yet not have a kid be able to go to a doctor when he's ill? That doesn't yeah. make sense. It's crazy. So you guys, not say that euthanizing. Oh, oh, really? Oh, HR 3200. Wow. It says euthanizing. You're telling us it does. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. anything. Yeah, well, you couldn't have read euthanasia in the bill because there wasn't euthanasia in the bill. Tell us. That's what it's going to be because that's what it's in Canada. What does that have to do with Of course, we're the United States. So why did you an American health care plan? But you're drinking the Kool Aid too. You're all for Obama. Help and change for 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 what? For for your attitude. We need we need to get away from. Kids to be stuck with our bills for no. It's better to have us so we can be in the grave sooner. So grave so. So cerebral that's palsy a lot. kids don't get their their health care. They don't get so it they now. Can if die? It's a pre that's that's the, how it works under the Down private care. Kids die under private oh, care. Wow. What do you? I talking? have the best health care. I don't. I do. Tell us where you got the idea. There's HR euthanasia. HR 3200. It's not in the bill. Anybody of, over the age of 59 uh -huh. will not get health care. They will not get a health a uh, heart that's transplant. Bullshit. They will not that's get a lung. Bullshit. Oh, no, it's that, it says. That's what that's what that is. That's pure. Bullshit! Totally yes, it is. It is bullshit. Yes, it is. She knows it yes, is. Yes, it is. She knows it. Either she knows it is, or she's buying the lies so much she believes them. It oh, doesn't yeah. matter where. That's pure bullshit. Well, it's not true, guys, and it's not in the lie. It's not in the bill. You keep quoting the name of the bill, but you have no idea what's in it. Clearly, because euthanasia is not in the bill, so you keep saying euthanasia it's is in the, the bill. It's the same thing. What's when, the same thing? When you cannot get a heart transplant, when you cannot get a knee replacement, when you cannot. Where does it say that? It says in the bill that you can't get a trans. Really? It says that in the bill that you can't get a heart transplant if you're 59. Really? Oh, I have. She's I already have. made her decision. She's not I changing her it. mind. I'm just trying to get her to keep putting her foot in her mouth. That's all. <laughs> well, I mean, you tell us. It's not in the, euthanasia is not in the bill, but you just said it was. So explain to us how it's, it's not, in. Those specific words are not in the bill, but you will die. You die you now if you get dropped by your insurance. Yeah, no, God, no, God will take me. Right. You got but do you guys believe in God? <laughs> yes, we do. Right. Really? Yes. Oh, are you questioning his belief in God because he doesn't believe with you know, politically? I don't know what you guys believe in. You question his belief in God because he disagrees with you no, politically. You just you did. I'm going to play it back if you'd like to see it. You just questioned it. I really don't care. But do you guys believe in God? <laughs> yes, we do. Right. Really? Really? Yeah, that's right. How many? 45 million can't get health Really? Oh, illegals? 40, no, that's the only one who can't get health care is illegal. That's who can? My, my daughter can't get health care because she's a pre-existing condition and she's not illegal. My dad had a pre-condition and, and he got health care. Yeah, wait, wait till you get dropped. When I mean, you have he had a heart condition. Wow. He had a pacemaker, a defibrillator. I mean, well, I'm assuming he wow. has Medicare. He doesn't have private well, insurance. he's deceased now. But I'm assuming he had Medicare when he had the pacemaker and everything no, else. No, he didn't. He had he a had private, private, for private insurance. Care. Blue when, Cross. When was this? This was actually not too long ago, 1980. <laughs> We're not talking about 1980. We're not even close to talking about 1980. We're talking about what's happened since then. That the oh, yeah, it's do not down. Do you not understand that the oh, way you're capital... Oh, you Bush for it too? Is that what you're going to do? No, I was going to point out that the way capitalism works is that every year the insurance companies are going to charge you more and more and give you less and less, and you're for that for some In reason. In 1980, insurance companies paid out 95% of the money they took in in premiums in health care costs. Today, they pay 80%. And it's just going to keep going down because that's how the free market works when you put it into no, health care. in the care. 1960s, they paid 100% health insurance. Okay. Paid 100%. Okay. okay. Well, this so it keeps going down, but, but you're should, for it. No, but it should be a payer plan. A single payer? All right. She's I for mean, single that's payer. That's what I'm for. That's you're, what I do. You're for single payer? Heck yeah. I pay for my own insurance. You I don't pay understand for my what single doctor. payer is, do you? No, I right. pay for my own doctor visits. I yes. pay for... 
everything. I don't think she understands single payer. So you believe, that, so you believe that individuals should be responsible for their yes, own health care? Exactly. There shouldn't be group insurance plans. There shouldn't be any no, of this. Should Just everybody it. should be on the hook for themselves. Yeah. So what do you think about public education? I don't. I, don't, I disagree with it. You disagree so with public so education? Should not universally in this country be educated. Hey, put them no, in sweatshops. They need to be educated, but they're not being educated properly. And private. Private education is good. So the what? Way to go either. So what is the third choice that we're missing? Maybe homeschooling. Maybe Just that's an universal option. homeschooling. Maybe that's an option. All right. Just getting wackier and wackier. Just out of curiosity, where do you think Obama was born? I really don't know. <laughs> American, uh, that's for sure. What was that? He's not an American yeah. because he's just destroying America. Why is Colin Powell a because traitor? He voted for Obama. He drank the Kool Aid. He's a traitor for exercising his free right to vote in an election. He he huh. sold the military down the river. Bush did? No. Oh, because I thought Bush was the one that put us into a war that we didn't need to go into based well, we on lies. We need to go in there. Really? Yeah. Based on the weapons of mass destruction oh, or? Yeah. And they were there, and Colin Powell even said they, they were. <coughs> well, I have no qualms with the fact that Colin Powell lied and about they're, that. They're, they're in Syria. They're in, so we should go to in the Syria next. We should, but we won't, because we're cowards. We're cowards. Oh, yeah. For not attacking another country that didn't attack us. Yeah, absolutely. So we should attack all the countries that we just oh, yeah. feel like it. Oh yeah, terrorists, all the terrorists, we should get rid of them. Well, terrorists are in 60 plus countries, we should attack all of them. Oh yeah, why not? And you're not smart enough to understand our military can't physically do that. No, they can. They can attack 60 countries when we're already spread thin in two. No, we can't, but you know, why not? Why not try? Want to try? You don't mind killing people just for fun, do you? You don't mind killing babies or, or elders, do you? Well, as we explained to you, killing elders isn't even on the table. That's a lie that you're repeating because that you don't have any facts to base, to base your argument on, clearly. Otherwise, you wouldn't keep repeating the euthanasia lie. And you know it's a lie, don't you? No, I don't. You don't know it's a lie. Oh, you okay. actually believe that it's true, even though it's not. Okay. Thank you. We're Excellent. You, you make your points. I didn't make any points. No, I didn't that, give you that's any. clear. <laughs> that's clear you didn't make any points. That's because why should I talk to you? Well, you've been I mean, talking you to me. You have your view, and I have my yes, view. Yes, but you've been talking to me for 10 minutes, and you just admitted you haven't made any points. So, you're, And the reason you didn't make any points wasn't because you don't have any, but because I'm not worth making them to. Is that your point now? Uh, bottom line. Okay. You're know, saying everyone's entitled to their opinion, but everyone is not entitled to their own facts. Yeah, apparently. Well, she's got her own facts, so apparently Thank she's you. entitled to them. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to see you're supporting an entitlement. No, I'm not in support, supporting an entitlement. Well, you're entitled to make up your own facts. I'm not supporting taxes either. You're, you're supporting your entitlement you to make up your own facts about you euthanasia in the bill. You are. But I'm not. I'm telling you it's not in the bill because it's not in the bill. And you keep saying it is in the bill, even though it's not, but I'm the one making up the facts. Correct? I just want to make sure I got this right. Well, euthanasia is not in the bill and she says it is, so how is that not making up facts? How is it on the bill? Have you read the bill? For yeah, I read that part of the bill. And all it is, it's providing end-of-life counseling. It provides the option of paying for that. That's not euthanasia. So Gavorkian is cool really? with you. No, we're talking about hospice care, genius. Um, hospice care doesn't tell you how you're going to die. It gives you the option of how you're going to die. <laughs> of how you're going to spend the end of your life. That's what's in the bill. That's what you but keep calling. But it doesn't say hospice. But Excuse me. It's called. <laughs> My grandfather died in hospice. Okay. He did not choose to die. They were saving his life. Uh huh. Okay. Who was saving his life? Hospice? The doctors. The hospice. Okay. Okay. They were the saving hospice his doesn't life. save life. When you go into oh, hospice, that means you give you dignity. Give, yeah. You you've chosen. They gave dignity back to him. Yes. That's they what's in the bill. Him. That's no, what's in the not. bill. No, it's not. Yes, it is. That's what the, the passage that you keep calling euthanasia is allowing the plan to pay for people to actually go through what your grandfather you know what? went we'll through. We'll get this, and you know what? In 10 years, we'll find out it, who's still living, yes. if anybody. I, if know. anybody. So you think Obama's just going to kill us all, right? No, I, I didn't say that. Well, Did you I? question whether any of us are going to be alive in 10 years. Well, I mean, look at we're all old. Yeah. We're not young. Is that what you're worried about? Is that no, what you're worried about? I'll be long gone. But you're, you're worried Obama's going to euthanize you just for being ignorant? Is that what you're worried about? 
for being ignorant? Yeah. Is because that, I don't fall for him? No, because, because you're making like up him? stories about there being euthanasia in a bill where there's no euthanasia. Okay. All right, genius. That's that's what that's your interpretation. My it's not an interpretation. Is it's not in the bill. You can't interpret something that's not in there. More time. Go to grants. Do you understand that it costs more money for uninsured people to have to go to the emergency room for their health care? Can you not understand yeah, how much it's more? on my dime. Then why are you against fixing it? Because it's the wrong fix. What's the right fix? I'm just curious. Uh, let's see. Telling illegal aliens that they can't have insurance or they can't go to the ER. That's the way you and, get a fix. And we should be billing Mexico or us. any other countries. That fix our no, it doesn't. But it's that's her that's her buzzword. Why, why don't why don't we uh, start charging people or their countries when they come over here? Yeah, but for free. I, I, that doesn't help my need to get some health care. Yeah. Can we talk about let's talk about citizens? Just leave the illegals out of it and try to talk about what we're what, talking what about. What doctor's office can you not go into today and get health care? We're part of a movement oh. to stop by nonviolent means disruption <laughs> called laugh out. Would you like one? You know, she's going to be the one that's causing the trouble. I think. That's okay. She's going to what? Do it. Be the one causing. The trouble. Uh, she's just standing here. You guys You're aren't having an honest debate. You guys with, aren't with what she's saying. Well, you You're guys aren't here. it out, but you can't take it. No, I'm just pointing out that you're probably here to help disrupt. It's a Democratic Congress person. Are you Nobody paid to stand here? We're not here to Nobody's anything. here to disrupt. We have an opportunity. We have our opinions. You have yours. Exactly. Okay. There's nothing. We're not being violent. We're not being disruptive. We'll see. We're not attacking you. Well, usually when they're so are you are you being paid by Acorn? No. Did I ask you that? <laughs> oh, that's such a I mean, uh, that's the usual well, question. Okay, but, wait uh, a second. What about my friend just had testicular cancer uh -huh. and he had both balls removed? Okay. And he had insurance, okay. private insurance, uh -huh. and he was taken care of. Okay. Well, good thing they didn't find out that he'd had acne as a child, or they would have probably... I mean, you understand that someone was kicked off, their, their insurance company wouldn't cover her cancer surgery because they found a pre-existing condition of childhood acne. Really? Really. You guys are going way to the extreme. But that's actually what happens. That's their job is to deny care. They okay. don't make money paying for everybody. Okay, Do you well, understand I'm, how I'll private excited, insurance I'll works? I'll be excited to see what your opinion is if this thing passes. It's not going to pass. We'll you guys are going to win. Don't worry about it. You guys are going to win because the blue... A, we're not a, we're not it's a majority. Not a, it's you get the blue dogs that are going to make sure this can't get to 60 votes. You guys are going to win. But wait a minute. You always isn't, win. Isn't the government supposed yeah, to be working for the people? Exactly. And if a certain, if the more, majority of people speak a certain thing, aren't they supposed to act on the... Well, the majority of people want the public option. So should, we should just have that, right? Majority of people want the public option. Yeah. And if that's what it happens to so be, then I'm sure that's no. what will happen. Goldwater, very Goldwater. He was considered a radical Republican. Oh, now he'd be a very, moderate Democrat. He was, <laughs> he was for uh, choice. Yeah. Uh, he was for separation of church and state. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a very Goldwater Republican. Yeah. But I left the party because it left the party you? left me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. No, Barry Goldwater a, would be. Become a Democrat. He's turning I, over in his grave right now. Yeah, I mean, he that's sure is. that's what that's what conservatism supposed to be. What it is and now is just a frightening. And integrity at that yeah. time. Yeah. And he may have been a little bit uh, extreme, but he was at least honest. And now it's and there's there's where your money's going right there on that sign. That's what you're for, right? Spending all that money for those CEOs. Just saying, let's take a look. Just so you know, for those people who are coming in and sitting along the side, we're asking you to be very quiet until we get uh, our business conducted. Thank you, everybody. Good evening. Some of the information that's out there is not necessarily true. It doesn't really have any relationship to the language in the bill. A number of you have contacted my office about some good questions, so let me just try and put a few of those out there. If you are a veteran and receive medical services from the VA, that will not change. If you receive TRICARE from the military, your coverage will not change either. Provisions in the legislation try to make Medicare more efficient and to keep it solvent. But the goal is to preserve the high quality of care that seniors enjoy today. And it does that also by trying to close 
what we call the donut hole to make prescription drugs more affordable for seniors. And finally, there have been a lot of concerns expressed about undocumented immigrants receiving free health care. Legislation before the House, just to make this clear, uh, on page 143 clearly states that no taxpayer dollars will go to pay for health care services for undocumented immigrants. So that's in, at the current pace, insurance premiums will double once again over the next decade. I don't know how many of you here in the room worry about losing your coverage due to an illness or some other medical event. Anybody here worry about that? Everyone. Yeah, everybody worries about that. Well, health care plans would no longer have the ability to drop you if you or a family member develops a serious condition. And health plans can no longer set would no longer be able to set lifetime limits on how much you can spend on medical services before you lose your coverage. We would like the freedom to leave a job and take a new position or even start a small business knowing we can access good health insurance. We would all like to see our health care system continue to be the most effective in the world. People want the highest quality and I think we need to give it to them. We all want to keep medical decisions between doctors and patients. But sometimes gets in the way we know today is not the doctor and not the person, it's the insurance company that's in the way. I know that uh, according to the Office of Management and Budget, this program is going to cost about $1.4 trillion over the next 10 years. So how can we get a, a, an affordable system? cheaper health care system, but it costs us $1.4 trillion. How are we saving money? They came in with those numbers, and I think we certainly respect um, their doing that. One of the things that they were not able to really score in, in Congress, this language, is the savings that would be generated through having greater emphasis on wellness. And because we're going to be not, people would not incur a copay when they go for preventative care. People would not incur a copay when they are trying to um, deal with diabetes in a way that, that helps them out in the long run. And so we have to build some of that in. The reality is that it probably doesn't do enough for the cost curve that we'd like right now. I think the way that it's written, um, we can do better. The cost that we incur from administration alone, because doctors have so many forms to fill out, and what is envisioned here is one form that would be used by everyone, essentially. And that should help. I've had doctors today. It's really bothered a lot of us that have looked at the Institute of Medicine and other studies that have demonstrated that if we invest in healthcare now, we will save almost as much as it costs over that 10 year period. In other words, I never hear anyone asking about cost when it comes to sending 48,000 more soldiers. Oh. so much money to kill people <laughs> and we can't spend uh, and we're always penny pinching when it comes to healing people yeah. that's, that's <laughs> several times that insurance companies are coming between uh, uh, patients and the doctor and I think every, a lot of people agree with that. But I'm concerned about this bill and I and I, I think it's a step forward and I'm not uh, uh, attacking the bill but what I'm concerned about this bill is it, it leaves the insurance companies in between the doctors for the most, and, and the patient for the most part and uh, I, I, I wonder 
if there's any hope of pushing further and, and getting the insurance business out of hell altogether. It's 218 votes. <laughs> People do uh, want change, but I think it's change that they have a comfort level with sometimes as you're as you're moving forward. And so I do believe that it's important for us to where we have um, a system that a lot of people would like um, to build on that as best we can. I have lived under all of the um, all of the systems, including Canada. I am now fortunate enough to be under Medicare. It is a great system. It is better than Canada. Um, one of the things in this bill says that in order for uh, insurance companies to be part of the insurance exchange, they can only spend 15% on administration. So that's a change and a shift, and they'll go make all kinds of things. My question would be, and the, first of all to the audience, how many people here eat organic foods? Okay. How many people in this room take vitamins or supplements? Okay. How many people in this room shop at farmer's markets? Okay. Now, the big question. How many people in this room know what Codex Alimentarius is? Okay, just a handful. How many people are aware that the mandates in this bill originated from Codex Alimentarius, which will make all of those first three things illegal eventually and will mandate allopathic care and will not cover homeopathic or home remedies? focus on prevention and wellness and so I think that as we work together and then look at the details of the bill and I don't have that right in front of me I have the bill but uh, then I, I think that's something to look at today there are a lot of insurance companies who support homeopathic care and if people want that that's those are the companies that they go to and that's just fine and that would not change I have a lot of questions that I really want to just get down to brass tacks. What's my premium going to be? <laughs> Seriously. Without knowing your situation, obviously, I can't, can't judge that. But the idea is that you're not going to see your premiums doubled in 10 years. And that as we work together to try and cut uh, the, the change the cost curve, uh, to do that, then your premiums will not see the kind of escalation that they may see. I mean, we know that that's happened over the last eight to ten years. We don't want to see that happen again, and that premiums rise uh, higher than than the cost of inflation. We're going to take our last question. I, know, I really thank you guys. I mean, this has been a large group, and I know that it's uncomfortable in here. So we've got our last question right. Oh, okay. I know that the drug companies are a big part of the problem. I mean, they spend, there's an incredible amount of money spent on that. If there was, say, a plant that you could grow in your backyard, <laughs> say, everything from glaucoma to, to insomnia to, to help cancer patients, would you support that plant? <laughs> supporter of med uh, medical uh, medicinal use of, of marijuana where it's by prescription and when with the consent of a doctor or through the appropriate and al already recognized uh, uh, centers that we have and uh, I don't see that changing through this bill there is would be no uh, opening up of that issue in this bill it's a state issue and it's something that has been decided by states and that's probably where it's going to stay Did it go well? Did you learn anything? 
No, I didn't. Yeah. You feel the same way? She did. She danced around a lot of questions. Good luck, girls. You're gonna need it. I did. <laughs> she would chase him down to get that question. <laughs> I know, huh? imagine if... Obama was born uh, in a way. for the public option. No, because of the doctor grant. Thumbs down for what? The obvious thing. Which is that? Which is? Oh no! On this health care bill. Why? Congress does. The Constitution doesn't allow for it. Doesn't allow for what? Doesn't allow to guarantee everyone gets health care. It's impossible that the founding fathers would have given. I mean, the fun. So, uh, you, you supported Bush, am I guessing? Oh, no. Okay. Bush is an atrocity. Okay. But the founding fathers would not have allowed to, to guarantee this as a right. They would never would have centralized power in this manner. I'm not sure it centralizes power so much, but you understand that every other free, industrialized nation provides health care for all of its citizens, right? No one else has the United States Constitution. So it's the Constitution why 45 million people are uninsured? Oh, they, they ask not 30, but a lot of those are illegal aliens I hear, so, you know. Um, I guess I'm one of them, then. Yeah, are you uninsured? Yeah. Is, is by your choice? Uh, not by my choice. Do you have a job? I, when I had a job, I had, before I got laid off, I had insurance. You know what, I'm uninsured, and I got a job, and I'm in pain, and I can't get any care. That's a fact. And it's been going on, and I worked seven days last week, and I work six days almost every week. And I work good and do the good job and make it right. And most of these people are on the government door right here. Yeah. Like, they're on Medicare and all that. If they're going to the government, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. But then if it doesn't work, why the hell do they use it for the military? 
Why does the military have socialized medicine? Explain it to me. Can you explain it to him? It's good enough for them, but not for me. I don't know really what he's talking about, but I know a lot of people in the military, and they don't really like the military health care that much. I don't think they would want to have it. Do you have private care? Yeah, yeah. Pacific care. I mean, where else? When? What other part of the world? In Europe, every country has universal health care, right? But what other place in the world? America is as big as Europe. No, Why should we have no, universal no, health care in all of America? No, because it, because no, it costs more to have people have no, to get their health care no, at an no, uh, emergency room. No, no, the states can do it. The states can do it. And, uh, no, yeah, the states have plenty of money. No, no, no. no that's, that's the state's job because it's not in the Constitution no, to do health care. Everything that's not assigned to the federal government's supposed to be left to the states. What's the imperative so, for So as you get older, you, you don't mind if we just scrap Medicare, right? Social Security, you're, you're, you're for getting rid of Social Security? I won't be on Medicare. I won't, uh, you're going to stay on work, but I won't be on Medicare. You're going to stay on Pacific Care? They're going to cover you until you're 95, right? Um, okay. I think I'll have uh, health care, yeah. I think so. You're going to keep private care. You're just going to keep paying that money instead of taking the... Uh, Medicare. No. I, I don't really notice the cost these days. It's not not much. You don't notice the no. cost of private health care? No, I, no, it's not much. I'm single. It's not much. I don't think it's going to be cheaper run by the government. Well, let's talk about the federal plan where they spend 3% on administrative costs and your Pacific Care probably spends between 20 and 30% on administrative costs. How is that a good idea? The government? What, what government? Medicare and Medicaid spend two to three percent on administrative costs, whereas Pacific Care spends twenty percent. You know, Mark Twain said there's lies and damn lies and statistics, and I, I haven't studied those okay. statistics. So. the people out here don't. White national socialism better than black national socialism? No, I don't think You're just a racist? Is that no, what it is? You're a racist. You're the racist. I don't know what you're talking about. You're the racist. Why do you think black national What does black have to do with it then? Why don't you just say national socialism? Why would you say black? I think... Well, they're sitting here with these Nazis. There are lots of There's, they they have a similar ideology. This is the, the, the nation of Islam. That That's how nation. old is that? Can I send this? How old is that? Made in 1960. But, but they have a Come back on that side. There there is a black national socialist. Stupid idiots. They're stupid idiots. Isn't that something? No, those fails. I have to get a possibility. Sir, sir, all I'm asking is let's be civil here. Is it true? Voice your opinion. I'm okay with it. I don't care. I don't care. Sir, thank you. As long as they do the same. I mean to make you think a little bit. If you don't think, you just stay offended. She's on our side. What? I know, but I reject what you're saying. I just reject it. I, I have my own freedom of speech. I represent myself. I don't care what you think. I do not care what you think. I do not care. Do you understand that? Then go away. Go away, okay? He doesn't have to speak. What he has is perfect. You do not censor me. You do not censor me. What he has is perfect. It's great. I love it. If you dictate to me, we cannot get our freedom. If you're going to dictate to people. I don't care. I don't care if you don't like it. I want to make it a racist. He issue. doesn't care what you think, but he's got a megaphone trying to get everyone else to care about what he thinks. That's how that works. Yeah, that's wrong. Just so you know. They don't care either. They don't care either. True. Then why are you bothering? I don't have to explain to her. There you go. I don't owe you anything. Do you pay my bills? Do you pay my rent? I don't owe you a damn thing. 
very right. Who are, who are you to tell me? Who are you? I, I'm, I'm an American that happens to love my country, and I believe that we Do you believe in freedom of speech? But I believe that freedom of Do you believe people should say what they think? No, I do not. Not when it offends others. Well, when it is a racist well, you're not for freedom of speech, that is offending others. He, he does have the right, he has the right to say it, and you have the right to tell him he's an idiot. That's how it works. It's too bad if it offends When you talk about race, that is not necessarily racist. This is a historical fact. That, that there is a black national. This is wrong. Black, but no, it's not. Well, that's too bad. How much have you read about it? How much have you read about it? I've read, read a lot about it. You I haven't read. read you haven't read squat about it. I I You're a liar. You haven't read, read anything. First of all, there's no need to talk like that to another human being. Number one. To call somebody a liar? Well, she hasn't read it. She is a liar. And you have the right to disrespect another human being? Yeah, I do. She's disrespecting me. You do. She's disrespecting me. Is that what your philosophy is about? Yes. That's what your philosophy is about. That's the kind of America that you stand for? That people can degrade other people? You need to chill out. He can say what he wants. No, he can't disrespect, disrespect it. No, no, you know, you don't know what he's saying I do. to this I know, woman. Roger, but then you get the police and tell him that he's breaking the law. But yeah, unless yeah, he's not breaking the, the law, like don't you get the police. Would yeah. you like it if I called you a bitch? Did he Would call you, you a like bitch? It? He's, he's I called her a liar, but that may be a fact. He's calling this woman a liar. He's calling her other things. That's not the same as calling her a bitch. A bitch is an epithet. I didn't call her a bitch. We're all not getting along here. I will do that. You haven't read a damn thing about black national socialism. Black black national I'm sure you read all the yeah, names. Then, then, then who started it? Who started it? Who started it? That has nothing to do with the fact that you can read off. You are not helping this issue. Black nationalism, no paradise. The theology of Islamist church is racist. Black liberation theology is racist. Get out of the Problem, but she's making it sound like it's the solution. Oh, you go to the emergency room. I, I don't care. That right. is the case. That's that's but that, if you didn't have cash, it's the like we're all going to be out. in a system that is going to mirror the emergency room. What a long way. Where do we rank? Process. Where do we rank in healthcare in the industrialized nation? We have the finest healthcare. Nobody leaves you, this country. You may have, Nobody but I don't. Goes to Canada I have for no healthcare. healthcare. So, you so, want so, so it balances out. It balances out. You have good healthcare. I got none. So when you when you do get a job where your employer provides you health care. Good luck with that. You know how that, that's been cut in half since 1995, the amount of employers that actually pay for health care. It's been cut in half. And why is that? Because, because Medicare's out of control? Because tort form has never How could it, never Medicare been? have a, a, Because, because Medicare so underpays doctors that they have to jack up the price for everyone else. A doctor does not... Uh, the average cost the American family is an extra $1,800 a year in health care insurance costs to supplement how much... So you're how much Medicare, Medicare is underpaid. So you're expand for expanding Medicare? No. You just said no. it. The problem is that Medicare is not paying enough for doctors. Medicare is so inefficiently run. No, it's that they're not paying enough for doctors. It's very efficiently run. It has two to three percent administrative pay for that. It has two to three percent administrative fees, whereas your private plan has twenty to thirty percent. So, so which it, one's inefficient? It's completely broken. It's to it totally How is it underpaid. broken? It's completely broken because it <laughs> my God. It completely underpays doctors. So it should we should pay more to doctors. And where's that money gonna come from? They've already 
said in the meeting, the, the congressman admitted they don't know where the money is going to come from. Well, it's going to come from prevention. It's going to come from having prevention. no hope. Oh, we're all we're going to pay no, for actually, it. No, actually, actually, we're going to pay for it with hope. No, look at that. no, no we're going to pay for it with facts. If you look at the fact that prevention, actually, one dollar spent on prevention can save up to two hundred dollars in health care costs. You, to a pediatrician, if you have children, you will see that the waiting room is full of families that do not have private insurance. They are they are getting the best preventative care paid for by the government, by all of us already. You know, and, and, so, and we're so, pretty, but, but what about the 45 million people that don't it's have It's not it? 45 million, it's 15 million. Oh, now it's 15. Someone said 30. You, you, you guys play with the numbers million, all you want. Between right? the illegal immigrants, the people who are in transition from one job to the other, and the people who, who intentionally decide. Where do you get your, I'm just, I'm just curious, where you get the 15 million on, you're saying. The Heritage Foundation, oh. look it up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's all I needed. Thanks. So do you think uh, think anything was solved today at the meeting? <laughs> well, it would have been nice if, it, if the event had been on her website, so we could have known. And if when I called the staff, they had admitted this this was going to happen. I asked them point blank last week if she was going to hold any t any town hall forums related to health care, and they said, Oh no. Well, do you understand? You understand why why it was done at the last minute, right? I mean, look how many people showed up with it at the last minute. You complain there wasn't enough turnout. Well, only only people who got the information through MoveOn.org and organizing for America. Those That's us, where you got your information? I, I, somebody who subscribed to that site tipped me off. Okay. Well, do you understand why she did that? Because uh, these shoes. What is she afraid of? Afraid of all the um, car carpetbaggers that have been showing up at all the other meetings for bust in and. and They're not bust in. Uh, you know, if, if people get. If, if a Tea Party group gets together and everybody chips in and gets a charter bus, you call that, you know, after I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll back off bust in, but. Especially the, but, since the shift, the, the, the Adam Schiff town hall tonight. Um, the the, uh, the unions and the single pair activist groups are admittedly bussing in people. Why? Why do they have to bus in people? They, they can't stand on because their own. Because they know that all the two party right. groups up in the LA area have organized. Right. Because they can't stand on their own. Oh, just answer your sign. Prevention. We learned about prevention. Listen, we learned about this. You can put your sign away. I just answered it for you. That's where the money's coming from. It's coming from prevention. We only learned about this 12 hours ago. Look at the from prevention. That's how it works. Are you you're one of our constituents? No. Yeah, I am. My partner. Yes, I am. Okay. Susan Davis? Okay. Absolutely. And, and, and you're here? Yeah. So what's the problem? What do you mean what's the problem? Why, why the problem is she, the website. Why problem is that I'm not, the problem is that I'm not in there. The problem is that she didn't send out an email that I got while everybody else got emails. email that I got. Not mine. I didn't get any emails from her. And I've been calling her office every single day to find out if she's going to have a town hall meeting. Okay. And I was told but no. I'll give her this. I'll give her this. At least at we got to no, no. Do you want to know how many letters I like sent? In fact, let me show you. I have boxes You're signed by Pelosi and everybody. And oh my God. There's been people showing up at these things with guns. Oh, that's I, mean, all right. I got them in my phone too. There aren't people what showing up. What do you see here? Do we look? I'll come back on them. Maybe you got the wrong one. How is that? Maybe? I just filmed people pushing each other. Don't tell me that. Right in front of you. Yes, literally. If the cops right weren't here, that would have been violent. I guarantee you. So what? So what? So yeah. you're, you're for violence. No, I'm not for violence, but it doesn't. So what? Because not see, only see, this. we're all political yeah, activists here. Okay, but not just this side is, is um, being the ones that are being violent. Okay. So that excuses it? No, I'm not excusing it. I'm you just saying so it's, what? On it's on both sides. So now what's going on? I don't agree because it's. So what does that sign mean? This is making fun of me. This is being silly. I hate all politicians. You hate all of them? All of them. Oh. All of them. Okay. Pretty much. Stupid. Sure. 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 Medicare is 39 trillion in debt. How well, is, how well is that working for you? Well, you understand why, right? Yeah, because With it's the like baby a big boomer? Ponzi scheme. But it's a big Ponzi scheme because a long time ago, the government started saying, we'll just use that money for other things and we'll put it back when it's time. Well, the and problem, they never put it back. The problem is people are living longer. 
Yeah, I know. That's the reason it's out of money. That's part of the reason. No, part of the reason. Obama's going to take care of that. You don't have to. You really, you really believe that that there's going to be euthanasia? Part of the plan. Eventually. No, no, but I believe that that group is holding treatment. You know, people will die, and a lot of people. So you think you think that Obama's plan is going to withhold treatment? Yes. Yes, because by rationing. But the rationing. But the rationing. The rationing. But it has to be. Next? Because that's what yeah. we have now. Yeah. Because the, the private be insurance now worse. does rationing. How no, can it be worse no, than no, now? Listen, How can it be worse can than the rationing thing? that's going can on I say now? One thing? Please. I don't want government run. I want health care reform. I want the state restrictions lifted so you can go to each any state you want to buy your insurance. Like good. Cars. The other one is tort reform. Okay. All these attorneys, the doctors charge so much because they have to pay so much for malpractice oh, because the attorneys. Another idea is a $5,000 annual tax credit per family that they can put toward whatever insurance they want. Talk about Ponzi scheme. Without, no, without, that comes with a tax credit to your family. Okay? Yeah, and then you have $25,000 in medical bills and what? How did that help you? No, 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 no. The $5,000 does not cover your medical bills. Then you can go and buy whatever program you want. And the reason is when you, when you lift that state restriction, there's competition. And when these people are charging too much, people are going to go to that one, but and that'll bring the, the cost but down. But the thing is, is that competition? And that will cost nothing. Yeah. Each yeah, of those things, each, each of those private companies, yeah. all are paying twenty percent or more in administrative fees. Right. Whereas the public I option pays two to three percent. I didn't say it's perfect. No, I perfect. just said that wouldn't no, cost perfect. any money. Perfect would be single payer. No, it wouldn't. Okay, but but it, people but up to eighty thousand don't have to pay for this house plan. Uh -huh. You know, so it's. Do you pay for your Medi uh, Medicare? Oh, don't you stop that much. Well, do you? He's working so well. But I tell you what, I worked 45 years, okay. you know, right. Okay. And I tell you, it's working well for me now, but I also know it's, Medicare is broke, so what point does But they still pay for everything. I mean, you say they're yeah, broke like they're, like, they're, broke. like they're cutting, like they're not paying your doctor. Well, yeah, but it's it's broke. You cannot continue a, a, a thing that is going to, going to be broke in about, what is it, 2017? It's not broke yet, but it's going to be. You know, so what kind of a point do you make? So now we should all go on a plan like this and everybody is broke, even you younger people. People? Because the private plans make it any better if they're spending all all their money. She just gave you a whole bunch of options. You didn't listen to one. No, of them. I agreed with a few no. of them, like like court reform. But medical mal malpractice oh, is one percent of the cost. Yeah. The 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 cost that the the insurance companies charge on top of everything else that's twenty percent. But you don't want to get rid of the twenty percent. They make between it depends on the company. I mean, they make up, I don't know. The most they'll make is up to twelve percent profit. There's nothing wrong with profit, but profit. This is profit is innovation. No, you know, not in healthcare. Innov you know what innovation is in healthcare? Innovation is finding ways not to cover you. That's what innovation is in a healthcare company. That is how you innovate. You find ways to charge people more. That's that's how new new new, new medicines come on the market. And most of them do come from the United States, from the pharmaceutical market. True. You know, it's because people can make a profit once you can't do that any longer. You know, all the um, I mean. But making a profit off people's health care is a different thing. You know, it's just Obama joker. Yeah, I still. It's about. It's from a movie, you know. So what? What kind of health care do you have? Uh, I have cash and carry. It works really good. Yeah, me too. I go to Tijuana. It works real good. <laughs> cash and carry. You go to Tijuana for your health care. Are you a purple shirt now, like the brown shirts? Yeah, right. Like I have the, the purple shirts. Like the brown shirts. You just compared me to the Nazis. But, but, I, but I can't. But I you can't. just compared me, a Jew, a Jew, to the Nazis. You know what happened in Germany? Tell me. Exactly. The the government. Hey, Mike, uh, healthcare you under Hitler. Oh yes. You know, now, tell me, please. You love it. Excuse me. Okay. You will love this. Okay. Under Hitler care. Uh -huh. First, they went after you know the people that were handicapped, the retarded. They had them sterilized. Uh -huh. And the people went along with that. They thought it might not be a bad idea. Then, the old people. That they're putting all the folks home. You know, more and more came out dead suddenly. I know what happened in Germany. How does that have to do with us here? Because I don't trust government with health care, any government. But you trust the corporations that their job... Absolutely. Anybody that can make profit is more, more honest But they're making a government. profit off of you. Well, Everybody well, should make a profit. These me. guys are intellectually lazy. Well, say, say that again? First you call me a Nazi, you know, intellectually, intellectually lazy. lazy. Why? 
Nazi. You could call me a Nazi. Just look at history. What does you history know, have to do with it? Hear what you want to hear. She, she called me a brown shirt. And I asked her if she was comparing me to the Nazis. She, she said, said yes. She said like a brown shirt. I heard her. And I asked her if she was comparing me to the Nazis. She, she, she said yes. She didn't say you were. She said what's the comparison? Someday, with this? someday even anyway. you will see the light. Oh, so we fight for you too. Just rest assured. That's capitalism. That's good. Buddy. That's good. Oh, the you said, what if there's a plant that can help people out and you could grow it in your own backyard? So, I mean, they're they're just sort of impossible because they'll say anything yeah. to make uh, their point. I, believe me, I got two hours. I, I got to edit. Is it true someone who was arrested for ripping up someone's sign? Uh, someone was arrested. I don't know what for. You don't know what for. Thanks. Right. Support the Constitution. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. How are they going to be able to do that? Where are they going to go? Oh, 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 well, no, it's actually a proven fact that every dollar you spend on preventative care saves you about $200 in costs down the line. Let's not hope. How much is preventative care going to improve with this? Well, according to her, quite a bit. According to her, she hasn't even read the legislation. Well, have you? Yes. The whole thing. The whole thing. You read the whole bill. That's a little ridiculous because it isn't even the bill yet. Well, that's the problem. There's so no how did they want to pass something it's for recess if it wasn't now complete? Uh -huh. It's easy to guy <laughs> for health care. Just rent some more money. Exactly. Right. How are they going to yeah, go well, for it before recess it if it's not finished? Oh, what? You guys already run out of ink? They wanted to finish it. Huh? They wanted to finish it before the recess? Uh-huh. That's the way it works. You right. were trying. They were trying to get the whole process done. Yes. Like and obviously... Rush it? Hell, it's 1948. Months, hell, it We've been waiting for this. 1948. How is this rushing it? Why, why wouldn't I want to read the legislation as, no, just, um, as, it, as it leaves committee and gets ready for the no, debate just, on the House floor? No, I'm just waiting. There's a lot of reading. Because, because we don't trust anybody's summary or anybody's okay, well, analysis. So are you, are you willing, to, are you willing this to put to rest the the notion that there's something in that bill that's going to euthanize seniors? There is legislation in there that will give counseling to people to yeah. encourage that will, them bill? to consider. Why is no, the euthanasia. Involved in that? No, it, there is legislation that encourages counseling to tell people exactly what it's going to cost them and their family to to ex, to extend the end of life care, which sounds awfully like in Canada, which they have, which is encouraging people to. Hey, I'm from euthanasia, but that's just me and my family. But I don't. No, I am. We've discussed it for a long, long time that that's what they want and whatever. However. However, 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 I don't want the government involved in any of my decisions. But they're not involved in it. All this is saying is that they're, they're, there's a provision in there that's willing to pay for why, why, that counseling. Why, why is the government going to pay for anybody's counseling? Why would they need that counseling? counseling? You're not trying to encourage them to Part of health care. Doctors, doctors why is that, and people why? can't make up their own mind? In every in every nation, have you ever had someone die in your arms? Of course. Then you know that that's part of the deal yeah, is that you have to sit down and talk about the end of life right. care. Oh, yes. So why would it's several people? So then, what's the problem with having the government, the government pay and government play for it? The government had nothing to do with it. Oh, you know, because, because they have I private don't insurance. Yeah, we're going way back. Period. Oh, period. We're going way back to April. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm out of tape. I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, it's four, there's four minutes left. That's when the fight was going to break out. There's there. four minutes. <laughs> Go. God, if yeah. anyone's got something to back up next time, come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Bye. <laughs>